Everyone wanted wandering trainers <laughs> and we went crab braids. Really? Wow. Oh, I don't, I don't like these crabs. Hey. Got all photo or crab. I don't like them at all. I'm pretty sure they're my lead. I'm pretty, uh, my stats on these photos are probably the worst. And I don't know what it is. Because people are I don't know. harder or they, they're skipping I, stage two more or, or I guess I can't tell if like tempoing is better or worse on crab rave. Oh, uh, tempoing is better because the phone doesn't matter. And oh, that's, right. But I get baited so hard by phone. So even right, right here, maybe here, time. should yeah. I not be going for 10? I should be trying. Nah, you, you could go, you could go, you could go 10 because your units are pretty bad. Okay. But, um, if I had more pairs, then I shouldn't have gone 10. It depends on the one cause that you keep. Maybe there was like buy pair, jinx pair, something. Sure, because like early game punk is really good. But other than that, like I would. The preload is actually good here because it's um. Oh, oh, I mean crab rage. So yeah, but. try to get a two cost to spike. Oh, yeah. Okay. So I scouted and I mean my board's weak, so I just r removed the. Yeah, your board's weak, and I already saw like a few. Three people that have strong augments and strong boards, so yeah. you would have won them much with it. Uh, race of Temple, you actually have a really good answer to Race of Temple. You would just play Seraphine or a little bit wrong. Mm -hmm. um, obviously, you are, if you are up to date with the, uh, the meta, I don't, you probably don't take this, but um, it's actually kind of good uh, to take Race of Temple here. Do you slam JG it, on for Seraphine or you're greeting for Morello? Uh, no, so you need a... Um, to use that on uh, uh, an item you want yeah. on any, on this set at all, actually. GG has been really bad for multiple sets, and they haven't, they try to buff it a bit, but it's not as good statistically as a death cap. Yeah. So when you say my items are good, I feel like it's just the rod, right? Because ideally, I'd be like Morello mm -hmm. and like Shojin or something, right? Yeah, yeah. You want, you want, you want obviously one, like one or two tiers, but uh, the rods, having just a lot of rods is really going to come. You can make so much, you know, Spark, uh, Crown Guard, Morello, Death Cap, mm -hmm. uh, even Gumbler. You can make anything a rod for like, uh, what we were. And the thing is, like, you could slam items here. Um, and Spell Weavers always kill you in a early game. Mm -hmm. Um, Get some anything you want. You get some Kronger here. You get some Sled Fast. Uh, even if you want to, for some reason, you get some JG. But uh, it's just the fact that uh, you have the Rod. You have a Lesser Nico. And um, mm -hmm. in, in Crab Rave, you have so much Econ early that you're going to hit really early. You're going to hit. You're going to reach 6 or 7, whichever you're rolling for the door surfing. And you're going to hit. Mm -hmm. uh, and you're guaranteed to hit, basically, unless you're contested. And when I mean you're guaranteed to have, you're seriously, basically you're guaranteed to top four. And then after that, um, you can maybe win out if you get emblems or if you just make it to nine or 10, um, based off your temple. Mm -hmm. Like if you hit on a two, maybe uh, you went out. And since this crab rave is actually possible. Uh, so so if I pick that I option, think... would you be slamming steadfast and greeting the rod for like I, th I think uh, it depends on your role. board, but uh, okay. it, it depends on your board. But I think the, it, it probably is the best because you do want to play around the rod. Um, it's a lot easier to play around the rod. If you send Crown Guard, you can play around the glove. The glove like doesn't make an item that necessarily spikes you in the mid game or stage two. Mm -hmm. Um, so yeah, I probably just go for uh, that pass. Okay. All right, so given that I rolled it, I'm just leaning towards stationary support here. Um, I mean, if you didn't know the meta that was reroll, you could also do free flyer. It depends what you want to play, but uh, yeah, you can just take stationary to stay flex. Yeah. Um, stationary support too is always good uh, early. Yeah, that would be insane. You would have Emo Annie with Race of Temple. <laughs> yeah, and you could also play for Annie. Actually, no, you leveled, but you would just play for other lines. Like, that's hindsight. It's just something. Yeah. Oh, is this way too greedy? <laughs> I'm pre I, I think. Or way too aggressive. Yeah, I, I, it's too aggressive. I think because you started off with two less gold because you're lesser nickel. Uh -huh. Um, I think when you do a play like this, you're trying to push eight. You're not necessarily trying to 
God. I I know you already know how to read rewind, so I know you're not gonna reroll this game. But um, you should just keep it open at all times. Okay. Uh, maybe it will, maybe you were up to date, like said, or with the meta, so mm -hmm. you didn't know it was a heavy reroll patch. That's fine. But when you have a lesser Nico, you you're and you're less inclined to do stuff like this because you wanna oh, cause just econ. Up. You're down because you're no no because you're down too low. Uh, also, this is only justifiable if you have uh, item slam, uh, you know, pairs. Good, I mean, you do have good units in theory, like Mordecai or Yone. They're pretty good units in early game. But um, you'll never be able to itemize. Like, if you do hit a Chosen, like a two calls Chosen, that's really good next turn. Mm -hmm. um, you don't necessarily have the best items for them either. I don't know if there was a good unit. And the cost shows and they could actually like tackle you off here. I mean, you can maybe get Sana uh, or Bard, mm -hmm. but then you're gonna you're gonna be incentivized to slam a JG, and I don't know if you want to slam a JG or a, uh, on them in general because you can make way better items. Okay, so it's it's more of a function of the items being awkward. If I had like Shojin, this would make a lot more sense. Um, it's just any summable, you know, item early game because, uh, I mean, offensive. Because mm -hmm. what you look when you pre level like this, you're looking for a backfire chosen. Yeah. Uh, so you're looking, you know, those are the main like ones that do a lot of DPS. Yeah. Yeah. I think everyone, everyone will want to send early game. So you just look at it that way. Like, what would you slam on her? And if your options are bad, then I don't think you should do it. Okay, makes sense. I think I got paid off with that Senna. <laughs> oh, well, you got the Senna. <laughs> I should have kept the Mordekaiser, huh? That... Instead of the Olaf? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, Mordekaiser 1 would tank a lot more than that. Olaf 2 went up. Okay. Unless you had a set. If you had a set, um, it's fine. I kind of knew you were going to hit this. <laughs> but now uh, I'm like Sanrio. so poor. Uh, but it's a matter. Um, you have Harsley and you have Crowd. Yeah. So um, right here, are you thinking like center reroll? Center reroll is a thing as well. It also got buffed on uh, this yeah. patch. So yeah, you, it depends really on your 3 to log if you're rerolling center or not. I think you for center reroll to win out, you need blinked out. Mm -hmm. Um, if you don't get that on, then uh, you shouldn't like reroll it. Okay. But you, but you can still use this to force any other reroll that you want. What if you have a spat, like a tree damage spat, but not blinked out? Like that, it's a little better, right? Yeah, you, you could also do it with a spat. Okay. So right now I have open rod. What was it rod vest um, glove? Ideally, if I wanted to reroll, I want a rod, right? Rabbanons. Um, uh, yeah, so you want, um, but you still find out it will be Shojin. You want a death cup. And then the last one could, I think her best one is red buff just because of the attack speed. It could also be Morello. Um, yeah, they could also. Okay. It does want to be a hitting diva. So yeah. red buff for Morello. The awkward thing is if you pick up the bow, like, you don't really have a slammable item, right? But you get the Senna. Oh, I mean, that's if you're re-rolling. Yeah. If you're, yeah. you're main, if you're committed already to re-rolling, then yeah, you take the Senna with Bow here for sure. Okay. And then you probably make set pass and then play around Rod and Bow for uh, your Senna. But like um, you mentioned... you're not committed to... Yeah. Yeah. Otherwise... If you're not committed, then you take the Morello probably. Okay. And... So now it's but the best look. Yeah, there's neither than uh, I don't think the lobby was uh, like very clearly AD. So that there's I neither. I actually like cloak here over chain. I don't think uh, like in terms of slamming items, because uh are you taking another chain? Bram not that good uh early game and then if you do make wrong where you play around there, chain. Or as a cloak, I think it's a lot more. Well, it could be adaptive if you don't slam anything, but you could also use McGargoyles, which is really good early game. And then 
um, you don't make gargoyles and you play an AP line, you could also just make Spark. So I think yeah. Cloak is probably better here. Okay. And then Nar is a better game. Yeah. Although I did already slam the rod on Senna, so I can't make Spark. Yeah, it's okay though. So you could also just send me to not. Um, when you play Crabber, you should just slam your frontal items. Uh, it doesn't, you don't really read frontline items. I think you slam whatever makes sense. Uh, so here, you can slam Crabber. Yeah. Oh. Or set so, or set so, so it's fine. You just slam whichever, because, um, since you get so much items, uh, it, doesn't, it doesn't matter. You don't have to greed or anything. The only thing you shouldn't greed for is your backline item a bit. But, yeah, you're um, so I know they tell you Ergo is really broken and they should hold it. Mm -hmm. And I think this is one of those games where you just want to hold your front units and you should also hold units that you might play. Um, so what, what board, I know you have hard steel, but, um, super fan, uh, the super fan units, um, expect you a lot in the mid game. Yeah. Um, so I don't know if you want to keep hard steel the whole game, like you could go for one cash out. Oh. So you're bored and then pivot to super fan units. So would you have um, not made 20 there to hold on to Nico? I think. Or even uh, just. I would. I would hold on to Nico and there's also another Nico in your next shop. But I think because uh, when you send a reroll, it's just not send a reroll, but it's just send in general. If you get the super fan on her, you're really strong. Yeah. Um, like for example, if you didn't have a failure suit here, I don't know. I don't know if necessarily you want to keep parts of the whole game. If you never hit set, uh, because your front line is going to be really bad. Mm -hmm. Um, so I mean, it depends the place that you want. If you're angling more like Azure here, then I guess it's fine. Well, I but I think if you're Azure angling, items. yeah, keep in mind it's a. It doesn't matter. You will eventually hit. I think in crab rate, but. Uh -huh. it, in this meta, uh, any super fan line is really strong, so it's something that you should probably be uh, keeping or just holding in general. Like if you're headliner or something else, um, I think it's fine to not hold the Nichols, but definitely you should. And you shouldn't be, I know you already wasted a lot of econ, like pushing up early, um, but at, at this point, like you should just try to play the strongest part at all time. Mm -hmm. Uh, I don't know, because I don't see Hearts of Stain for, uh, for a while. I see. My, my... Yeah, I think this goes back to what we talked about last time, where I I think I'm just such a sucker for Heart Steel. I, I can't recall a time where I've started Heart Steel like a 2 1 and I've taken it out in like stage three. Um, so. I see, I see. Like, what... I mean, that's, that's normal, but it's just. Just normal strong, I think. Like I don't know if you if you knew that maybe the super fan lines were really strong this patch. So if you don't know, then it's just knowledge. It's just mm -hmm. if you don't know, then that's not your fault. I don't blame you. If you still think like Hearthstone is probably the strongest opener, and you just because of that, then um, you, you just weren't aware. So I, I wouldn't blame you. It's just uh, with Lester Nico, you just have super fans open at all. Like I said, you could just use set as an item holder for maybe stronger reroll lines, whichever you, you want to go, whether it's kill, surfing, whatever. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, you should just uh, take advantage that you have, you have this Sunna, you know, and you just want three items on her piece up to stabilize for mid game. Yeah. In some games, if you do have a super fan over there with Sunna, you could actually just go nine and stuff like spell upon a crab rate. Uh -huh. And you're not going to do that with a hard steel opener. If you're going to do that with a, with a super fan opener, Right. Um, all that. then if you lose econ, like to not make 20, to, to not make 20 the, the round, keep in mind one hard steel cash out, even if it's not like a big one, you'll probably make me come back. So, um, until you hit, you know, your award, mm -hmm. I think you're just missing Lilio because you could have had Kana, you could have Nico, but it is yeah. yeah, that's easy to hit. You just would bike to the fitness two, kind of two. You could probably just, even if you're playing for tempo, you could just Nico or two. Or, and then you'll be age. Cause, uh, you shouldn't, if you're not rerolling, you shouldn't be greedy as well with this, uh, Lester duplicator. You should just, uh, uh you should just look to, uh, to start anything. Three costs, two cost units, uh, mm -hmm. ASAP. So you could go, uh, eight. Okay. That makes sense. 
Yeah, I think I just continue to overvalue, especially like you mentioned last time, overvalue stage two, especially, and even stage three hard steel cash outs if I don't have like five hard steel in compared to just preserving HP. So I think this is probably a continued symptom of that. Yeah, it is very hard to get a frontline from the spot. I think you would have to pyro a lot. I mean, Mordekaiser, maybe hit two Mordekaisers. Maybe I guess you, you know, two Tats here, two Mordekaisers here, and you they go and you're, you're stable, but I mean, you have to hope you're high roll. Let's say you don't hit any frontliners from now on. Um, you're going to bleed out, uh, suddenly a lot of frontline mm -hmm. to be strong. Uh, so I don't want you to lose just HP for free because, um, you didn't want to hold, you know, I guess your best frontline option was Nico. So I, it sucks because you would have been really strong for mid game. At least I don't know what you're going to hit here. I know Crabber drops a lot of three cost things. Like you gotta just hit everything. Mm -hmm. From what I see so far, like, um, I'm worried for his age. Yeah. Okay, that makes sense. Oh, I mean, guarantee. <laughs> <laughs> if I didn't hit that, would part of the game plan be to roll a little bit at 3-2 to get a stronger front line? Try to Nico at like a pair of three costs or something? Um, I think you will roll like once. I don't think you should roll too much because um, everyone's already so everyone's game plan and every was gonna put it is make econ. So everyone's already like you're fifty when you were twenty, just last round, right? Yeah. <laughs> Imagine everyone else who just made forty twenty uh to one, you know. Everyone's just so hard. So I think you should only roll like once because you only roll really when you're looking for a, a, a headliner. But if you already have the headliner you're choosing, which is true damage is the best one, um, you should maybe only roll once. If you're lucky, you hit a good shot. If not, then you should just uh, suck it up and move on. Just because your econ is in compared to everyone else is kind of bad. Um, it's not bad. Like if pushing levels um, help you preserve it. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's it's worth it, but um, just keep in mind that everyone else is probably twenty gold up on you right now. Not twenty, maybe like ten. But uh, in your items, are your items good? Your items are it's you make a gold. Oh, goblet oh, you make gold too. But I think it depends because, like, if you go goblet, uh, you can go kill. Dude, I forget. No, I forgot the items name. Uh, I'm sure if you go from later, I'm sure then you're, you have to still play, uh, oh, like play Ezreal. Uh, yeah, you can still play that line. I see. Um, or now you get some Morello, because Morello's not really, there's not a good Morello holder in Ezreal set. Mm -hmm. So I think you could, if you slam from later and, um, Evan Shroud, and then you're, or you slam Evan Shroud and keep the rod. But there's no reason to keep rod open in that comp, really. So, I think Goblet is fine. I think a lot of people don't slam early Gumbo. Even in stage two, Goblet is actually really strong. Uh, it's something from what, that's what I learned from watching our re replay. Mm. Um, because I normally would never slam Gumbo, but he, he made me a believer uh, that Gumbo is actually really strong. Uh, I see it, especially in a complex Sana or a board like Sana. Sana is really good at, uh, she does so much AoE damage. Yeah. And she's really good with Gumbo. So a lot of times I like, it's like cognitive dissonance to slam even shroud for me when my carry is AP here. Um, but like, that's just fine. Like you're just trying to tempo. I mean, like so, your, your, your game plan is just go eight and play as well, then it's fine. Like, yeah, even if your board is AP, it's okay. I've, I've slammed even shroud and uh, even on AP board, because for some reason, when, when I, even when I finish AP boards and I know that I'm going to finish AP boards, I'll still slam Evan Shroud just because I don't need the components and I need a way to say it to like kill units in the metagame because I know if I reach to my late game board, for example, I did a lot in Disco. So Disco units, when Disco was metal, um, even when I wasn't metal, before I got buffed, before that patch that I got buffed where everyone's playing it, mm -hmm. um, I played a lot of Disco and all my Disco games were top two. Uh, but I was slamming stuff like Evan Shroud, and the, my justification was that this guy units have a lot of attack speed. So if I just slam Evan Shroud, you don't really want Thor to look in the comp, if you mm -hmm. think about it. Um, 
because you want like royalty uh you don't really want us on fire you want better flame arrows for your blitz crank mm -hmm. uh warm off is okay but then the cloak also you don't really need the cloak for like um spark or anything because you shiv is a better item anyways on either tf and you play six in your final leg on four so you don't necessarily need a spark or a sun fire so if you end up with bulk bulk after you have your other items i would actually just slam it on this go because just students have a lot of attack speed and they'll benefit from hitting a bunch in the mega game mm. even in the late game stages like you know um a lot of times if you carry dice in the disco board this crank is, ends up soloing everyone right yeah so but the stats are really good on uh anyways on on eventual so i would just when it's also crab rave it's got a puddle you're gonna have a lot of items you shouldn't be really i see uh, you should just like i said honestly you could play however you want in the early game you could slam whatever you could even summon sterics on gary in here if you wanted <laughs> like then that's what you think is correct or you could do it you sound the bt morello like you should just not be afraid of doing these things okay. because if, you, if you're just reading here um keep in mind you can play any line and in galaxies like this or portals like this you can play any line mm -hmm. um as long as you i guess know the other boards and you're confident in it, you should do it. But I can see that um, you're probably going to create these three items. So here you should just level as well. Oh, okay. But like, like it doesn't make sense to level, you know, to one to two and then uh, not level here for one gold. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah, one gold versus possibly losing like four to six HP is worth trading. Oh, let me. Or do you remember what I rolled? Oh, uh, I thought it was best run. Oh, okay. Yeah, best one's one, probably. Um, Pepsi not that good. So I'll re roll up link. The strength was okay to reroll on. Okay. So here it comes in like I actually well when I have a hilarious and uh even when I don't, I think a, more items is better. Mm -hmm. Partial Sunshin could be useful, but honestly, every time I've seen partial sunshine proc, it doesn't really look at, like it makes the fight difference. Maybe in stage two it does, but not yeah. in like stage anything on Fights are so over so just, Yeah. I mean, obviously, there's better silvers to roll for, but I don't, I'm, I don't mind having an extra item. I mean, you have to open slots. One front line item or one back line item mm -hmm. is kind of good here. I think. Okay. Extra. Yeah, I think I'm on the same page. Then these stacks. At this point, I'm like, I could go to Disco, I could go into just like some super fan KDA board. I mean, I don't have any like oh, yeah. reroll line really open right now, right? Because I just wasn't holding on to stuff. Or is, is this is this still fine at this point to like still consider reroll? I think, uh, yeah, it's probably too late. You were you were, you were holding stuff. Yeah. Um, maybe you would have had a lot more, you know, super fast KD units, but uh, that's fine because you actually mentioned disco and I I forgot about disco. Um, this is actually a really good disco uh, line. Yeah, I just need a tier. For sure. Yeah, I didn't. It's just even after the boss recently, people still don't play this. Yeah, the main thing or, is you need not, to get the well. right? And yeah, probably, Crab Rave, but... you have enough resources to get there. I, I just don't know how good it is into the reroll column. Because mm -hmm. I haven't been um, watching much recently, so... But I trust when people say that this goal has been performing poorly. So you could, uh, yeah. I have In terms of items. Sword, open cloak. So, yeah, I mean, GS will always be good. I think yeah. again, you'll get a lot of value in... 
in these cyber portals to go GS because everyone's hitting everything or you're you're gonna be fighting capped out like in boards. So here I'm like oh, wow. really confused what to do. Uh like cause... Uh first things first, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um you wanna fix your board a bit. I mean, you take out the Katarina, you put better units. Mm -hmm. Um let's see where you can play. Because I can, I have all the low cost discos. I have KDAs, like, but then I don't have enough bench space, and yeah, it's like hard to keep all the lines open. Okay, okay. so at this point, on uh, you should commit to one. Like, you shouldn't dizzy yourself uh, ever, or you shouldn't hold too much. I think people, when you try to play too flex, it actually hinders you, um, especially in your roll down. Because if you're holding all these units and you're gonna roll down and for one probably. Mm -hmm. Plus you can uh, you can have a lot of gold. Um, you're gonna skip units and you're gonna lose a lot of time because if you're holding to these many pairs, if you haven't committed yet, and you're holding to this many pairs, it's gonna hurt you more than help you. Um, playing flexibly doesn't mean like having twenty lines open. It just means like um, playing around your items. So I think. Commit here to. I would just scout. It's scout angle. If there's no disco players. You definitely just. When I scouted, I there was one disco. disco player. Although I mean, they could have gone. They could have gone like pivoted to KDA too. But there was someone with disco right now. All right. So I think if you're not really running, the super fan units are not that helpful. The only thing you really care super fan since for a low board is like Pentaco. Um, but I don't even think the comp is that good. Right now, they nerf cartons a bit, mm -hmm. and um, I don't know like how well it is honestly performing versus every other line. Uh, so I would definitely just hold the two fans where you're not going to play the pentacle angle, especially when you have um yeah I'll just hold two fan in general because you don't you have a hard you have a hard steel board and opener, so your two lines you should be angling for um, is either disco or a hard steel. Mm -hmm. um, and for some reason, they also synergize well. Like, as in, like, you could play a combination of both on the same board at level eight. Um, but you don't have to. It's, just... it's mainly the overlap um, between Set and Gragas. Yeah, Set, Gragas, uh, Cassante, Blitz. Oh, yeah. And uh, TF Bard, Israel, MF. Mm -hmm. It's like there, there's a board that uh, there, there used to be a comp for like a small period of time. And you could easily just hit those units and go nine with it. Um, but yeah, super fan is like if you're not rerolling and if you're not playing the Pateko line, which you have no Pateko units anyways, um, you yeah. should just solve. Okay, that makes yeah. a lot of sense. Yeah, I think that's something I do too much probably is I, I'm like trying to play way too flexibly and then I get super dizzy on the roll down. And then I'm also like not making 50 here. Yeah. And this guy's full streaking with reach the summit. I oh, have this. It really wants you to play. Go. But I mean, at this point now, you could probably just spam the GLC thing. How have yeah, I always I mean, disco without like some mana regen on on uh, TF? Because I'm thinking like, oh, I need a tier, but then I already have Morello, so the red buff is useless too. I think um, it depends on the attack speed, because this girl already has a lot of attack speed. It also depends on, uh, for example, if you go full APTF, like if you go for some reason Death Cap or Angels, like Morello or Gunblade. Mm -hmm. You have no mana region and you have no attack speed, then yeah, you have a problem. But if, you, for example, Morello gives you attack speed, Giant Star gives you attack speed, mm -hmm. and then your last item, whatever it is, um, decent enough for, you, for him to cast enough. Okay. Um, but yeah. I, I get it. Oh, uh, is this. I'm like thinking, oh, maybe I'm strong enough to just go nine with this Viego, but I should probably be greeting for either Disco oh, no, or no, Seal. No. 
I mean, I think first you need to look at your items. If you have good vehicle items. Um, you also sold the super fan board. If, you, if you're trying to grade a nine, I think the best way to grade a nine is to use a super fan line. Mm. Um, they're very cheap, very strong. It's like, uh, and then you could easily sell them on nine, play legendary board, but, um, your board is not. I know, I think you bought this because of the last coaching session. I told you though, why you should be content with this. Uh, remember it's not, it wasn't scuttle photo or it wasn't crab rape. Right. Um, also you still have 40 gold left over. You don't really have good Diego items. You didn't hold any physical units. This just doesn't, um, Diego's not a carry. He, he amplifies damage for your team. That's it. So if he casts like multiple times, it's good for your team, but it's not good for him necessarily. Mm -hmm. Um, he will need like, um, portable forge items for him to actually be a carry. Stuff like Dust Defiance, um, Edge is really good on him. And if, if he doesn't have those things, then he's not going to carry them. Oh, but yeah, you shouldn't buy this. I think this is just, uh, uh you, the last coaching session, so you to buy it last time. But keep in mind that time you had like 15 gold, um, right. and you had a holder. You actually had a, you had set items, so I gave him set item. Okay. Here, the best items you make is BT, what, Giant Slayer, Red Buffs, but, uh, that's not going to carry you. Okay. So I had a really good setup for Disco. So if I, if I'm not going for this Viego, I still, these items don't seem great for Disco. So then I'm um, really leaning towards like hard steel. I mean, I think people like don't, don't understand that. Yeah, you have a lot of bold, but it's not bad to have a lot of balls in this oh, You have three users, uh, three carries, basically. You have Sona, you have Ziggs, you have Tia. Um, mm. Even if you make a red buff here. That's fine. Uh, let's say you make three. Up. Yeah, like you could do, because Ziggs is probably, Ziggs and TF are really good, same uh, Morello players. Yeah. Um, let's say you make red buff into, I mean, one of them is going to be a Giant Slayer for sure. So let's say if you're Giant Slayer guaranteed, and then I don't know if you want to get snooze because um, you might want to Gumblade or even on JG because you need some damage at this point. Yeah. Um. So, so Giant Clear is firm, then Gumblade, then Red Buff, and then you play around Glove. And so, yeah, you just give the, you, even then, like, if you do make the against this, you just give it Sona. Uh, mm -hmm. I like a lot of tax rate personally on all my units in Disco. Uh, I think it's really strong. And since you're healthy, you could just, uh, you'll make it to six on us. So I okay. think it's not bad, uh, but if you're playing Ezreal. Yeah, this is where I'm just like, I mean, you, you have no tears. I feel like you can't play Ezreal with no tears. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. I'm just super dizzy at this point. I mean, if you do go nine from the spot, it's not bad. I don't know about something I Oh, uh, oh yeah, both pretty. Yeah, so I have so many items. And then if I'm staying staying in hard steel and try to get more. I'm trying to find one more edge lord. And it's not happening, I don't think. Oh. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. Did I just be dropping these Ed Ezreals? Oh uh, no, because you're you've committed to an eighty line, so I think you should uh you should stay with it. Oh, uh, one well, you should, you could play Kaelin here. Kaelin got buffed. Um, yeah. And yeah, you have Kaelin items. It's actually really good for Kaelin. Uh. It's just fine too. I think it's just buying this Diego Chosen. It's really bad. Especially if you're playing Diego, no healing. It's even worse. Yeah. Um, he needs a healing for sure. I got double sword, so um, I thought why he maybe made a Gumbly would have been better. I think Gumbly is just uh, an item that you should be more open to slam, mm -hmm. even early or late, because it's just insane at all stages. Okay. And it keeps you more flexible. Yeah. 
So here then, are you thinking, just try to go nine or just sell the Viego and do a roll down? I think he's, yeah, I think you sell the Viego, you probably roll a 40 by whatever choice. At least saying, honestly, that's a frontliner or not even a frontliner. Like, hope you hit either Caitlin. I mean, you have Caitlin pair as well. Mm -hmm. You got Adam is Caitlin and hope you set a frontliner chosen, whether it's Drush, Poppy, Sack, uh, whatever. Mm -hmm. you just put the Adams on Caitlin or Ezra, whichever you hit, because you have both paired. You should roll here for sure. Yeah. Okay. That makes and, sense. And then um, just go nine up. Like, okay. your board's actually really strong if you just roll here and then frontline chosen. Okay, yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Yeah, I'm just still too dizzy in the game. And I also just have this lesser Nico just like not doing anything the whole game. Yeah, you should just slam it on whatever, honestly. I thought you wanted to pick this, but it's pretty good. I'm surprised that that board, that my board won that. I think, uh, honestly, yeah, I'm sure I'm bad on anyone. This is like a spot where you're supposed to win out my MO. But all I see from here is, I mean, you saw Viego on 5-1, five 5-2, five you roll, or you hit a 5, and then you 5 plus chosen. That could hold the item to win the game. If you don't, then uh, then you just play for Ezreal, Caitlyn, and that's fine too. Probably just top 4. Yeah, okay, that's good. I mean, honestly, if you are, if you didn't save HP early game by playing aggressively, You'd be like at 20, 30 right now. Yeah. And the game would be a lot tougher, for sure. It's because you, you played aggressively early game, uh, you get to go nine. Uh, but yeah, you should over here roll. I, I should be looking for yeah. a front line, right? Because I already have the game. Yeah, I, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't even have healing for this guy, Orange Knight. Yeah. So. Okay. So I, I think I buy this Z again, which is the same mistake I made with the VA. <laughs> I'm just I, like, I oh, mean, you find can something do... good enough. I think it's funny you roll healing, but I mean, you want to get these units in healing. I think um, if it's for one turn, it's okay. Mm -hmm. But um, if it's not, then you should definitely go to. Uh... Okay, so what was okay, for one turn? Okay. Do you buy the Zack here? Ideally, it's uh, Bruiser Zach, right? Damn, you know how to set this game? Yeah. Uh, uh, do you buy the Zach? No, you don't. Because uh, you just got to look at the gold in your board. You have a lot of gold. Okay. Like, the more two is gold, you don't necessarily want more at this part of the game. That's pretty good if you, yeah, if you pivot your whole board in time. Also, when you spread the the ball into your, you're not going to make the Nash actually spread the ball. Oh, yeah. Well, that's the only. I mean, you got a big cash out soon, right? Yeah. Oh, that's huge. But then I also put the belt on the Lowy, which which sucks now. <laughs> um, I mean, you could take that one. What's again? Um. I would Nico Eloy too here just because you're uh he also needs items, like three items for him to do anything. Um you still don't have a hell in it, right? So we could pause this turn before you Okay. At the start of the turn. Yeah, I think I duplicated I, I, the Yorick because the Alawi had a belt on it and I wanted a three item tank. But So can you go back to last turn at the start of it? Yeah. I think you could have um, spiked there and went out, but... Here. Oh, uh, just to the, very, to the very start, yeah, the very start of the turn. Okay, here. Um, the other lobby pair, thrush pair, natural pair. Same pair. 
Okay. Um, that's me. You're being, you're being baited by 8-bit Sentinel. Um, after you cash out, you probably should just get rid of, uh, or steal, probably. You shouldn't play it anymore. Uh, um, you're still two lives here, so you can definitely sell these units and play better units. Uh, maybe, you, um, she, uh, I don't even know if you play, I don't even know if you play, um, I forgot his name, but uh, Kane, because mm -hmm. you don't have any arrows for him either. Although if I move, uh, if I sold the, if I get the blue buff and the Morello on him, that'd be decent, right? Oh, and yeah, even I yeah. could even make a Nashers if I got the belt off the Lowey. Yeah, yeah, that's the one exception, but like, honestly, you made these items on Ophelius to give it to either Lucian or to give it to Sigs, right? Mm -hmm. Um, and that's something you should always be, uh, aiming to pivot to ASAP, even if they're one star. Mm -hmm. Um, mm -hmm. but your front line, like, your front line, your front line is, I know you do get rid of, because you play your too. Okay, you just fast forward a bit. After you roll down, I want to see, uh, Right here, this is the pause. Um, yeah, if you buy this Blitzcrank, you need to allow you to, um, you play it over, uh, I don't know, Garen. You don't, you don't need a bit anymore, or you can just get rid of the Yone. I mean, you're still playing five cards too, so that's pretty bad. I mean, <laughs> or you just, yeah, or no, you just fill the affiliates, honestly. You just fill the affiliates. And you sell Pasante, you play for Sentinel, Blit. With no rapid fire, you pick up the Aphilios. Like oh, oh, wait. Oh, wait. Oh, the extra unit is Azrael. No, I mean, yeah, you definitely saw Azrael then. They just blew off your Pasante. Put the Morello. You mean Kane? Yeah, the Mar yeah sorry. <laughs> Kane, you blew off Morello Kane. Um, it still bugs because they don't have healing. You don't have healing on anyone. This is sort yeah. of where, like, even if you don't have healing on anyone, one gum day would fire units alive. Mm -hmm. Even your your game carries. So which sucks. But this is definitely the, the turn where you could have spiked the hardest. Yeah. Um that was your temple turn to so come back in the game this turn. But uh there's a lot of options here. Just for this turn you're just taking bleds until stage six if you survive. Uh mm -hmm. it's good enough. And but your idols will still be on Ilawi too. You don't need your two here, you just hope you natural it because it's not you didn't have a guardian for it. Mm -hmm. or three items on it um i don't know how strong i know you don't have a reliable like source damage as in like you know you don't have a headliner that, and you're carrying so i don't know how strong this garen is but i assume that uh for 8-bit i know it is strong but playing a garen one and that that's part of the game where ports are so kept out I think an upgraded unit or an upgraded frontliner is a lot stronger than 8-bit. Mm -hmm. um, how much fucks you also don't have gels in? I think maybe the downside of this game was uh, you're not comfortable playing 5 hard steel. Because if you would have maybe played 3 hard steel, you would have held better units. Mm -hmm. Or you would have had more gold as well. Because like, cause you played 5 hard steel, you made a cane too. Uh, you held Kane instead of maybe Jazz units. Um, because Kane and Yone could go for uh, Jazz units, basically. Yeah. And, uh, you would, uh, been a lot stronger for level 9. So this so. is the same as the end of stage 2, where, like, I, I just pivot out of hard steel too slow. I'm, like, still greeting too hard. Uh, I, I just need to be ready. Like, if you're not ready for it, to, the transition to get out of it, yeah. um, you shouldn't play this way. It's too risky and uh -huh. it's not worth it. Um, okay. I, that goes to a lot of players. Like, if you don't feel like you're set to go at this spot, then if you don't know how to win out from the spot, physical will see this spot and who, like, it's guaranteed first. But if you don't <laughs> see it, then you, sh then you shouldn't um, probably play it. You should be more comfortable. You should play more safe. Because uh, okay. the reason he wants out is because he has so much knowledge of making boards. Yeah. And if you don't have the knowledge, then I don't think you should uh, uh, do lines like this. And this is where adversation also really matters. Because mm -hmm. honestly, if you had one gun blade, you could nickel your two here. You could give him double stud fast. You could play this cane too. And I might say with no healing. Because a gun blade on your backline on, on my Caitlyn maybe would heal everyone up. So yeah. 
uh, this is just, uh, I guess, knowledge there. Okay, that makes sense. I feel like you did not what have any sort of healing at all at any point in the game. Um, you would have a lot more HP as well when you played Viego and stuff like that. So mm -hmm. uh, maybe you would have one extra turn of transition. Uh, maybe that one extra turn will save your uh, your game. Yeah, I guess I'm just like used to, to like building healing in the mid game as opposed to early game. But then that like bites me here because I never had the opportunity again. Yes. So here, emo is good. I don't know. There's another headliner looking for really. You gotta took that poppy. I mean, the search is okay too. Um, you do pivot out of accuracy here. Might be a bit too late. You still itemize a uh, right lobby, I'm pretty sure. Not oh. thrush. Okay. Even though I can get three item thrush versus two item Alawi with the belt. <laughs> so here you die to just unlocks hitting your back line because you have no healing as well. Yeah. This is another gun blue diff. Um, but no, thrush just becomes a CC utility. Um, it always definitely thank you. Okay. 